All right, what is going on everybody? Welcome to the Flow Bash channel. My name's Eric. I feel absolutely blessed to see each and every one of your smiling faces right here in another video. Now in this video, I am gonna teach you guys how to catch some crappie and turn them into the absolute best fish tacos you have ever, ever had. I guarantee it. And to top it off, you're gonna learn my ultimate secret fish sauce. So stay tuned guys and you will learn how to roll limes off of a plate and make these tacos. How's that, any better? Oh yeah. Stay tuned guys and gals. All right, what is going on everybody? <laughs> yeah, Billy's laughing at me because this is like my third try trying to open this video, but that's my boy Billy. He hit me up on Instagram. We're out here on Big O and we're going after some crappie. My first time specifically targeting them. I know you guys have seen me catch a few on Ida, but uh, say what's up to Billy, man. What's going on? Dude, appreciate you hitting me up. Um, yeah, definitely check out his channel. What is it, SoFlo Outdoors? SoFlo Outdoors and on Instagram it's uh, SoFlo Waterfowlers. All right, man, it is like 55 degrees out right now in uh, the end of March. It's crazy, but hopefully we're gonna get on some slabs. I'm excited. Just definitely stay tuned and uh, see you out in the water. Dude, they're right here. They are right here. I need to calm down a little bit. Holy crap. Watch that one since yours is over there. Yeah. Oh, there we go. Hey. He's off. You serious? Yeah, he jumped off. Uh-oh. I saw a tick. Another tick. Another one. Oh. Eat it. Eat it, you wait, jerk. Wait. There you go. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Little sunfish. <laughs> First fish of the day. <laughs> and I got to put him back. Sunfish. That's funny. Look how he inhaled that thing. I know. Under. That's funny, though. Look at that. All right, pretty fish. Put that on a big rod for bass. Oh, I caught a catfish and you caught a sunfish. <laughs> yep. Oh, 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 oh. Got him. Oh, got we him. got something. Finally. I don't think this is my 10 incher though. Yeah, it's definitely 10 incher. Let's see what we got, a little crispy. Maybe if we pinch the tail. Oh, we're definitely past 10. We're ten and a half. There we go. I'm not complaining whatsoever. That's my first crappie of the day. Finally. Look how beautiful these black crappie are too, guys. It's almost a shame that we're going to keep them, but uh, they just taste so good. Got all those iridescent greens and blues in them. Awesome. All right, guys. So this is all we're doing. We're just taking these tiny little minnows. Put them in the back with these tiny little hooks. That's it. There. That's the rig. And then you guys can see my length of leader is about three feet. That's about the depth of the water. Just getting it right down there, pretty much to the bottom. You want it hovering just just above the bottom and uh, getting hooked up. And I know I'm talking to you guys like I'm some kind of expert. <laughs> I, I've literally caught one crappie, but yeah, it's working. Billy's getting hooked up left and right. I don't know. He's got some magic juju. I've, I'm just, you know, here noob, noobing it up. The dude, they, like, he's on. He's... Whoa, oh my gosh. The rod's getting ripped out of the boat. Oh my God. That better be like a 10 pound crappie. Look at this bass. It's a bass. Look at this bass. <laughs> <laughs> oh my God. 
<laughs> Dude, that bass had some oranges on him. I almost thought it was a peacock. Dude, that bass. Holy crap. <laughs> oh my God. Dude, that bass ate a minnow that's like Look a that. quarter inch long. Look at that. Dude, elephants He's eat peanuts. A tiny little minnow. Don't, don't throw him too close. He's going to oh, scare yeah. all the crappie away. <laughs> See you later, bud. Here we go. What is it? Yo! Oh, I don't know if this guy's a keeper or not. He's pretty small. He's right at 10. In the box. Whoa! Don't want them escaping. Oh, there we go. Better get him out of the water before a gator comes. Yeah, there we go. That is a no need to measure situation right here. Oh, yeah. All right, there we go. It's the nicest one of the day. That one's going to make a nice, tasty sandwich. So definitely, we're not the only crappie fishermen out here, as you could see. It's definitely a popular thing to do out here on Okeechobee, but it's this is really fun, and this is something you guys can, if you have kids, you can take them out here and do this. Um, they're eating right at the boat. I can't believe that. Most fish don't do that, but they just, they don't seem to mind, and pretty much what they do, they run in schools all up and down this uh, grass line right here, and you just drop your minnow down and wait, and you've got your bobbers, your strike indicator. As soon as you see that thing go under, don't give it a hook set, just pull lightly as it took me a little bit to figure that out in the beginning, but definitely awesome. I'm learning a lot, super appreciative of Billy taking me out. It's a lot of fun. I hope to do this a lot more moving forward because uh, yeah, I mean, these crappie are gonna you know supplement the meat that I would normally get at the supermarket. Yeah, this is a great time. We're gonna run around the lake a little bit, kind of move around, check out a few spots and just keep on fishing and uh, keep putting them in the boat. Definitely a fun, super fun time. I love this type of fishing. It's kind of, oh, Billy's hooked up. What's he got? Oh, we got a crappy. He got himself a crispy right there. Little guy. Look at the spots on that one. And, uh, oh yeah, right at 10. Right at 10, awesome. That is a keeper. Keeper, oh yeah. Pretty looking guy. Look at that color. And cooler. So the size limit is 10, but how many can we actually keep? We can keep 15 of them per angler. Okay, awesome. Probably gonna make a move, check out a couple other spots, even though, I mean, I hate to leave fish to find fish, but I don't know. It's kind of nice to run around. The wind's definitely calmed down a lot and it's warmed up a little bit. So definitely a little more bearable to actually run. So uh, yeah, check back in in a minute. I decided on the way back that I'm not gonna do sandwiches. I'm gonna do some tacos. So let's get you guys wrapped up, me wrapped up, whatever. We're wrapping this section of the video up. I'm gonna get back to the house, make some tacos, and uh, it's gonna be flipping awesome. I can't wait. So thank you so much, dude. No problem, man. An awesome time. Definitely my first time catching crappy. Super thankful that I was able to get out here and just, you know, it's a beautiful day now. 
it wasn't earlier. But yeah, it was so awesome. So definitely make sure you follow Billy's channel. I'll have it linked right up here. And uh, yeah, that's basically it guys. So see you back at the house. Peace. All right, welcome to the kitchen. Now to make our fish tacos, we're gonna need a few ingredients and here they are. Obviously, we'll need to start with our fish fillets, enough sour cream for a half cup, enough mayonnaise for a third cup, sriracha, Worcestershire sauce, your favorite cooking oil or butter, garlic powder, fish seasoning, cumin, cayenne pepper. And for our toppings, we will need tomatoes, red onion, red cabbage, cilantro, a couple limes, and tortillas to put it all together. All right, guys, I am excited to get this going and get these tacos cooked up. So first thing we need to do is coat our crappie fillets in, you can do it in either butter, or I like to substitute butter for avoc avocado oil for butter, not the other way around. And uh, it's just a little bit healthier option. You can do butter, olive oil, avocado oil, canola oil, there's any oil you want. So I'm just gonna coat these real quick right here. All right, now that we have that done, basically all you need to do is take your favorite fish seasoning. You can even come up with it on your own. You can do like a little cayenne pepper, cumin, salt, black pepper, and come up with something. I'm a basic guy. I like to keep things simple. So I like to go with Everglades seasoning, fish and chicken. It works every single time. This is great if you wanna do like blackened fish tacos. We're not gonna go too crazy overboard on these. So let's crack this baby open real quick and get to seasoning. I don't like to go crazy overboard because I'm going to be utilizing the sauce. I wanna get that flavor of the sauce and not kind of dilute it too much with too much seasoning. So this is not working. Hang on a second. There we go. We got the three big holes. Oh yeah. All right, flip these over real quick. Do the other side. Boom, done. Make sure to stay hydrated real quick. All right, oven just went off, so let's throw these babies in, and while they're cooking, we can make the sauce. All right, so while those are in the oven, let's make the sauce real quick. It's only gonna take a few minutes, so the quantities that I'm giving you for the sauce, these are, it's basically going to cover you for like a family dinner night or if you've got, you know, a smoking hot date, you can show off your cooking skills and your badass sauce making skills. It's gonna cover for you and a date, you and the family, depends on how many tacos you cook, but it's gonna be plenty of sauce. So if you have a spare container that you wanna save this in, that'll be a good idea to get that handy. Um, so yeah, let's get right into it. Now the sauce has two main bases. Um, you're going to start with a half cup of sour cream. Now this is eight ounces, so that's a full cup, so we're just gonna eyeball it and do half of this real quick. All right, boom, got that done. The second main base is mayo. Now, I'm like a avocado, extra virgin olive oil freak, so I get Hellman's with the uh, olive oil in it. Doesn't matter, guys, you can use whatever mayo you want. So this is gonna be a third of a cup. Again, I'm just eyeballing it. Pop this baby open. That looks about like a third of a cup. It's not rocket science, you really don't have to get too into the measurement. All righty. All right, next up, I'm just gonna chop up a lime real quick into wedges so I can squeeze it out easier. And essentially, it calls for two tablespoons of lime juice. Just, just do one full lime, guys, that's it. Boom, we are done in the sink. Uh, next, let's see, we're going to add our garlic powder. Let's grab this behind the counter real quick, pop that open and just go to town. 
It's roughly a teaspoon when it comes to the seasonings like this. I like to just do it to taste. So after I mix everything up, if it feels like it needs a little bit more, I'll add a little more garlic powder or the sriracha that we're about to put in next. Just anything like that. So it calls for one teaspoon of sriracha, but I kind of like to go heavy. The sriracha, once you get it mixed in with the base, it's, it's going to have like kind of like a underlying tone to the sauce. So if you really want it to stand out, definitely go heavier. Otherwise, it's just gonna be, as you're eating the tacos, it's, it's gonna be there in the background. It's not going to be very prevalent in the flavors. So it just depends on your heat tolerance and just kind of what you're looking for. I, I like the heat, so we're going, we're going full bore. All right, hopefully that is going to be enough. Now here's a little bit of secret sauce for you guys. Now I like to add somewhat of like a sharp type of sweetness. That's the best way that I know how to describe it. So we're going Worcestershire sauce. This is something that you don't see a lot of people put in fish sauces, but it just, it gives it this nice like sweet punch. That's the best way I can describe it. So let's crack this baby open and go to town. All right, time to mix it up. All right, let's give that a lick. Oof, way too much sour cream flavor, oof. That's why I normally don't like fish sauces because I hate sour cream. But once you start mixing it with other ingredients, it gets really good. So I think we're gonna add, let's do a little bit more sriracha real quick and yeah, let's do a little more, let's do a little more Worcestershire, just because Worcestershire, I can't, that, how do you, I can barely pronounce that. Give it a lick. Getting there. Hmm, what are we missing? You know, I'm gonna do a little bit more garlic powder. Yeah, really getting that Worcestershire. I like that, but I need more heat. All right, hopefully this is the last. Really changed to a nice orange color too. Checking the time on the oven. I don't want to overcook those babies. Oh yeah. Oh yeah, that is the sauce right there, guys. That is the sauce. Make, make sure you pay attention to these ingredients right here. Oh, I love it. All right, those just have a couple minutes to go. So that should be enough time to toast our tortillas. Now, toasting these things are really simple. If you have a, a torch, you can do it that way. Or all you have to do is take a frying pan, put that baby on high, no oil, no nothing. Just stick it on there and it'll start browning these very, very nicely. So we're gonna do three and dinner is gonna be served. All right, it is time to plate. Got my spatula and let's start dabbing some crappie onto these tacos. Now, let's load up with some red onion. Okay, and be sure to make an absolute mess like I am. All right, next up, I'm gonna do some red cabbage. The cabbage is gonna add a really, really nice, like kind of, like a nice mild earthy tone to it. I like that a lot. Tomatoes. Bing, bada, boom. And we're going to garnish with some cilantro. Now at this stage, if you like avocados, it definitely is worth it to put some avocados on there. I absolutely love avocados. They're a super food, super good for you. They help grow some big muscles. And uh, yeah, they just, they weren't ripe when I went to the store the other day and I didn't feel like waiting. So I just went without them. But if you can get avocados, it's gonna turn this into an absolute dynamite fish taco. Guys, I can't believe I did this to you. I forgot the most important topping of any taco. Cheese. 
You can use whatever cheese you want. You can be you know, super basic and get your four cheese Mexican blend perfectly fine. Cheddar, whatever guys, whatever cheese you love, put on here. Now, if you could only choose one cheese and one cheese only for your fish tacos, you know, you see people put blue cheese on these things. Blue cheese has mold in it. No, uh-uh, uh-uh. Yeah, so I know you see that on a lot of tacos. You'll see goat cheese a lot too. That's an okay choice. The four cheese, you know, it's pretty basic. But like I said, if you can only choose one cheese only, I highly, highly recommend you take a look at Cotija or Cotija. I don't know exactly how to pronounce that. Maybe I should Google that real quick. Cotija. Okay, so I was right the first time. All right, all right. Gotta give myself the benefit of the doubt sometimes. So yeah, Cotija. 100% highly recommend. It's it's kind of like goat cheese a little bit, but it just has a much better flavor, in my opinion. All right, cheese is on. Now finally, guys, piece de resistance. We've got our awesome sauce. Smell, ooh, smelling like sriracha. I love it. I went heavy on the sriracha. It's up to you guys if you want to do it. Let's just give her one quick little mix. And we're going on. You don't want to go too heavy with the sauce. I mean, I know this is the secret awesome sauce, but you really want to get all the flavor. You want to get the flavor of the meat, the flavor of the seasoning, all your toppings. You just kind of want that. You want it all to just blend together and you don't want anything to overpower it too much. All right, so I just, Cut a lime wedge out. I'm just gonna hit it real quick with some lime and I can't wait, guys. All right, here we go, guys. Oh my gosh, ooh, blown out. Back up. <laughs> okay, oh, it looks so good. I can't wait, guys. So, uh, three, two, one, let's get it. Mmm, this is so good. Oh yeah. So you get the nice kind of charred flavor of the tortilla and then kind of the first thing that comes in is the tomatoes and then definitely the onion right underneath it. You can't really taste the red cabbage too much so you might want to go a little heavier on that if that's your thing. And then, uh, then the tartness of the fish sauce because obviously we used a lot of um, sour cream so it, it's a little tart but then right away the sriracha comes in right after that and it's just this nice level heat. It's not overpowering whatsoever. And then right over the top of it, you get the cilantro. I mean, it's a nice, like, you know, it's a nice, bold, sweet, spicy earth tone. I love earth tones. So, uh, oh my gosh, pardon me. That one had a lot more fish in it. Definitely, oh, so good. All right, so before I finish these tacos, let's close out this video. I really appreciate you guys watching. Uh, all the support I've had over the past few months and the growth that I've seen is absolutely amazing. I'm so thankful for, to all of you guys. I'm really thankful for Billy for hitting me up and asking me to go out on Lake O and slay some crappies. It's something I never really targeted, so that was such a fun time. It's something that you guys can do and just replicate what you saw in the video. It's super easy and you can take the family out, take the kids, and just have a nice relaxed day. You can enjoy some adult beverages, have a nice conversation with a friend, and just hang out. And I, I think that's just, that's what fishing's all about, just coming together with good people and just having a great time, learning new things, going on adventures. And that, that pretty much just summarizes what I love so much about fishing and the fishing community. Getting contacted by people like Billy and then making a new friend, and just having an awesome day out on Lake Okeechobee, kind of doing some exploring. Got my ass whooped on the bow of the boat in that heavy weather. But you know what? That's what makes it an adventure. And next time I meet up with Billy, it's gonna be hilarious to recall how we got our asses kicked out on Lake Okeechobee. Not the smartest move, but hey, like I said, that's, that's what fishing is all about. So with that being said, guys, Thank you so much for watching. My name's Eric. This is the Flow Bash channel. I hope you enjoyed it so much. I hope you learned something. Definitely try and make these fish tacos and the sauce. You will not regret it. It's gonna be such an amazing meal. Something that you'll be able to make for the rest of your lives. And it's just, you know, nice to keep that in the back pocket in case you have, you know, a hot date, fellas. Um, but anyway, thanks so much for watching, guys. I'll see you in the next video. Peace out.